Welcome back, Commanders. I'm pretty excited about today's video. Today we're talking about the difference between fake money and real money. So we got Colton here helping us today. So we're going to go over the differences. So we're going to talk about 10 differences between the fake money and the real money. Okay. The first thing we're going to look at is the security thread. So we're going to scoot up in here. And I hope you'll be able to see it, but right along here in a real $100 bill is called the security thread. And if you hold it up to the light, you can see that there's a little bar that goes down the dollar bill. Fake ones do not have that. This one, even if you hold it up to the light, it doesn't have anything right there. Next thing, we're gonna look at the security ribbon. Okay, where's the security ribbon, Colton? Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that yeah. thing. What, how does that one look compared to this guy? Um, when you like move this around, like the pictures and numbers kind of like move. Yeah, so that's dancing all over. This is just printed, so it's not dancing like that. So that, as soon as you move it, it dances all over the place. And the funny thing is about this, it's got the ribbon here, um, and then it's got the paper over it. That is actually paper on top of the ribbon. So if you get like a little little needle or something, you can stick it under that paper and stay on top of the ribbon. It's like on top because they're different pieces. Kind of cool. Okay, next thing we have guys is, do you see that bell? We've got Benjamin Franklin's little ink well here, okay? We see the Liberty Bell inside the real one. My fake one, it does have a Liberty Bell, but it's not as cool. It's not as visible. It's not as shiny. This one's kind of sparkly when you hold it in the light and you move it around. You can see it sparkles. A fake one definitely doesn't sparkle like that. It's not nearly as cool. So there's that in there. Um, there's colors all over this that are sparkly and when you hold it in the light and you move it around, the whole thing changes colors. It sparkles. You can see the numbers dancing. Like It's pretty cool. In a real one, that color shifting is cool. Um, also, the size and feel. Like, feel the two of them, Colton. They feel different, huh? Yeah. So, if you weren't sure, you could feel a regular dollar bill, even if it was like a five or ten or something, and how it felt. And you could feel a fake one. You're like, oh, that's just that just feels like paper. Also, um, this is what we call a prop copy. So this is a fake one that they'd use in like movies and stuff. So if they're going to use fake ones in movies and stuff, it has to be a little different size. So when you hold them up together, my fake one is a tiny bit shorter and not as wide as the real one. So they're a little bit different size when you are working with a prop copy like that. Also, feel this. Okay, so you feel the regular dollar bill, Colton? You feel this? This just feels like paper. On the real dollar bill, they use raised ink. So there's a little bit of a difference of the feel between the real one and the fake one. It's more bumpy on yeah, his face. It's a little bumpy on his face. And you can see on this guy's face, it kind of just looks like a normal face. On the real one, you can see those there's little lines that make up his face. It's a lot more defined on the real one. Something else on my fake one, on the back, it says prop copy. That's because it's a fake one. So these fake ones will say prop copy. Obviously, prop copy is not listed on the real one. Because it's not a prop copy. Okay, um, also really cool is the watermark. In this area here, on the real one is a watermark. Now, the watermark isn't printed on there. It's part of the paper. It's included when they make the paper, they make the watermark on there. And then they print the rest of the stuff on there. But that watermark is legit. And I don't know, you probably can't see it in the video. I'm sorry about that. But if you get the real one and hold it up, you can see it in the front or the back. You can see, who's on there? You got Benjamin Franklin on there? You can see his image from the front or the back when you hold it up to the light. So there's a lot of neat tricks in the dollar bill. Something else, with the dollar bills we use for um, Commanders of Money, because we use a lot of these, we burn them, wash them down the toilet, shred them in our videos. Um, all my fake ones, they all have the same serial code number. 
Same serial number on all of them. Um, this guy, if they're going to be real ones, if you get a stack of real ones, they're all going to have different codes. My fake ones all have the same code. So there's so many ways uh, that you can tell the difference. And we've covered 10 of them, but that's not all. There's so many other ones, like there's, there's pens that can change colors. They'll show a different color on a fake one as compared to real ones. Also, you can look at uh, the serial code number. Does the serial code number match with the bottom, the number below it? Does everything jive with that? And what I like, at least with the ones that we have, they're fake. They're probably not very good fakes. They're fake enough for, to burn in our videos. But the real one looks much better. It looks crisp. The picture looks really good. The picture's fantastic. The picture on this guy, not so much. It's kind of blurry. It's good for Colton to throw into a campfire for one of our videos, I think. Yeah. But you're probably not going to be able to pass it at a store. And we're not going to pass it at a store. We're going to... We're going to destroy them somehow in future videos, right? Yeah, we're going to use this one at a store. We're going to use that one at a store. Yeah. What What would you buy with that? Probably an Oculus. An yes. Oculus. This guy's saving up for his Oculus. See, there's there's your Oculus. If that was all real money, you could have an Oculus right there. Too bad it's not. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. There's a lot of ways to tell the difference between a counterfeit ones and real ones. Obviously... You want real ones. Guys, we really appreciate you watching. It's been an exciting video to make. It's fun talking about money. Not only how to spend it, how to save it, how to invest it, but also cool stuff like this. It's awesome. Colton, what should our friends out there do if they like our videos? Like, subscribe, and comment below for any questions. Thank you.